How's it going guys? Ben here with iTech Triad and today we're going to be looking at Chromebooks and Minecraft. Not something you would have expected if you happen to be a subscriber here, but if you're coming to check out this video, you're probably looking at just this. Minecraft on Chromebooks is something a lot of people ask me about because Chromebooks are low cost and their kids want to play Minecraft. So instead of spending six, seven hundred dollars on a high-end computer to play the game, why not just spend two hundred dollars on a Chromebook? So today we're going to be looking at how to install Minecraft on a Chromebook. Keep in mind this will void your warranty, we're not responsible for any damage, you do it at your own risk, and please read the entire thing before you do this. That said, let's get started. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is put your Chromebook into developer mode. To do this, we're going to hit Escape, Refresh, or F3, and the power button all at the same time. You're going to hold that down until the Chromebook reboots and you see the recovery screen. This is a white background with a yellow exclamation mark. From here you want to hit Control D, that will set up developer mode, and then you want to hit enter to confirm. This is going to reboot the machine, you'll see a screen that says OS verification is off. On this screen you just want to leave it alone or hit Control D, this will put it into the final developer mode. After that it's going to take about 10 minutes give or take, and then it will reboot again, you'll see OS verification is off, and then you want to hit Control D to get into Chrome OS, or you can wait 30 seconds, you'll hear two beeps, and then it will boot into Chrome OS all on its own. Now once you've uh, gone ahead and went back into Chrome OS, you're going to notice that it has deleted all of your data, it's basically done a power wash. From here you want to put in your Wi-Fi credentials, sign with your Google account again, and then we'll move on from there. Next what we're going to do is download Crouton. What is Crouton you might ask? Crouton is basically where you can run a Chrome OS environment and a Linux environment at the same time rather than dual booting like you might do on a Windows machine. So what we're going to do first is go over to a GitHub page that has a download link to download Crouton. You're going to see a shortened Google link. You want to click on that. It will download Crouton to your machine. Next we're going to go ahead and open up a crosh window by hitting Control alt t it will launch in a new tab, you'll see some code, you're going to type in shell, and then after that you need to go down and click on the link in the description where the companion article is. That has all the information of what you need to type in to install Crouton and install the right version of Linux. The one we're going to be using is called KDE, and the reason I picked it is because it's very easy to use, it's similar to Windows 7 and Chrome OS, and um, it's just got a very nice interface. I wouldn't recommend using it if you're trying this on a machine such as the Samsung Series 3 Chromebook or any other ARM based machines. I only recommend doing this if you have an Intel based machine such as the Acer C720, HP 14, or several others out there including like the Dell Chromebook 11. It just seems to work better on an Intel processor since they have just a little bit more processing power. Once you've typed in the required information, you are going to see this prompt that says to put in a, u a username. Uh, you just put in a username, whatever you want, type in a password. It's not going to show anything when you type in the password, but don't worry, it is doing it. You go ahead and type in your password, hit enter, type it in again to confirm. And then next we're going to actually launch into um, Linux. To do this, you're going to type in a line of code. Again, everything you need to know is down in the companion article on our website. Click that, hit enter, and it will launch into KDE. Unfortunately, I can't do a uh, screen record on this. I wish I could because it would look a lot better, but I can't. So here it is again back on camera. You can see KDE is now open, and we have a full Linux environment here, and it works very well. I'm using this on an HP 14 with an Intel processor and 4 gigabytes of RAM, which I think is a great combination of how to do this. So what we need to do next is go back into Chrome OS to download Minecraft. To do that, you want to hit Control alt and then the back arrow. That will go get us back into Chrome OS. Next, you're going to want to open minecraft.net slash download. To do, this, you want to get, to do that, you're going to um, be downloading Minecraft for Linux. So you're going to go there, you're going to scroll down and find Minecraft for Linux slash other. You're going to go ahead and download it as a .jar file. And then once it's finished downloading, you're going to go back into um, Linux. To do that, you want to hit Control Alt and the right arrow, and then hit Control Alt Refresh. That's how you get back to Linux if you have it running with the commands. Again, everything you need to know is down in the description. 
Next, what you're going to do is you're going to be installing or you're going to be setting up the directories for Minecraft. To do this, there is a few um, lines of code you need to type in. Again, everything is down in the companion article. I can't stress that enough that everything you need to know is down in the companion article. You really need to go down there. A couple lines of code, you're going to hit enter and it's going to set up the directories. After that, you're going to install Java, which runs Minecraft. Overall, this is probably, depending on your internet speeds, this is going to take 10, 15 minutes. Really depends on your internet. But once that's done, um, Java will be installed and Minecraft will be ready to go. The only thing you'll need to do is actually set up the shortcuts. So I'm going to go ahead and play a little bit of music while I finish typing that in on screen. And then I will come back when it is ready to go. Okay, so now that we have Minecraft installed, Java installed, and the directory set up, we're going to go ahead and set up the shortcut. First thing you need to do, go down in the bottom left corner, click on the right-click on the KDA uh, kickoff launcher. It's going. You're going to edit applications, add a new item, type in Minecraft, um, follow all the directions I leave down in the companion article towards the bottom of it. It is going to show you how to do all this stuff. Basically, you're going to put a few little lines of code into the command windows. You're going to run it in terminal. Just a few different things you need to do to get this working just right. Uh, after you've done everything, uh, you need to hit save. On the general tab, you're just filling in a command line and setting it to run in terminal. Or Sorry, you're setting it to run in terminal on the advanced tab. On the events tab, you also need to type in the work path, which is going to be games slash Minecraft. Again, please check the, des the description for the companion article, which has the exact case, because everything is a little bit case sensitive. Make sure you click run in terminal, hit save, and then we can now um, set up the shortcut on the desktop. And basically, that's just so if, if you do happen to have a kid who's doing this, they will they are going to be able to learn this because it's actually not that hard if you've done it a few times but basically the shortcut is just to save a little bit of uh, time so you're going to go ahead and open up the KDA menu again tap on games and then you'll see Minecraft there you're going to right click on that and add it to the desktop once you've done that you're done Minecraft is right there all you gotta do is launch Linux you sign in with your account and then you can start playing Minecraft so just a few tips while we're uh, launching Minecraft here to um, launch Minecraft after you've set up um, Linux for the first time you're gonna boot your Chromebook hit control alt T type in shell and hit enter you're gonna type in a line of code to start Linux and hit enter and then you can open Minecraft and just enjoy um, just a few tips for things you might need to know while you're using this method as you can see here Minecraft is playing on screen uh, Depending on your configuration of your machine, it can get up to about 60 frames a second. I have, again, a HP 14 with 4 gigabytes of RAM and a um, Intel Haswell processor, and it runs at 60 frames a second, no lag. But here's a few tips. Uh, your download folder will sync between Chrome OS and Linux, which means if you download a file in Chrome OS, it's going to show up in Linux in the download folder. Your machine is in developer mode, which means 30 seconds are going to be added to the boot time if you don't hit Control D upon startup. Switching between Chrome OS to Linux, if you go, if you're going from Chrome OS to Linux after you started up Crouton, 
which was that first thing I told you about, you're going to hit Control Alt right arrow and then Control Alt refresh. To switch from Linux back to Chrome OS, you're going to hit Control Alt left arrow. A um, couple more tips here: the battery life um, when you're doing this, at least in my experience, is going to be half of what it normally is when you're running Crouton rather than just Chrome OS. Um, and that was tested on both the HP 14 and the Acer C720. Um, when you want to power off the machine, you need to close out of Crouton by logging out of Linux and open up. Um, you're going to have to go back into Chrome OS to power off the machine. If you try to power it off through Linux, this doesn't really work as well. Um, and then also, this is probably my favorite tip here, is sounds from Chrome OS will play even during Linux when you're in Linux. So if you want to play music, say from Pandora or Google Play Music, you can have it playing on Chrome OS and then move over to uh, Linux, play Minecraft, and it's still playing. So that's a great tip there if you guys want to try that out. Overall though, I do really like this method. I'm kind of glad I was able to do this. Um, my little brother loves it too. Uh, it actually plays better than his Windows machine, which is pretty awesome. So I hope you guys enjoyed this method. If you know someone who needs to know how to do this, let them know, share this video with them, share the article with them, let them know because this is a great way and I think it's really going to help you guys with making the decision on a Chromebook. If you see someone who's negative towards Chromebooks, let them know about this. If you want more tips like this, subscribe to the channel, hit like, and if you have any questions, leave a comment down below and I'll respond to as many as I can. Thanks for watching and we'll catch you guys in the next video.